In this video, we provide an overview of the steps taken in scanning and quantifying the binding of dilabeled proteins captured on the CAM antibody microarray. If you order the service, we will scan and quantify the signal of each antibody, calculate the average of duplicates, subtract the background measurements, normalize the data, and compare the results to identify those antibodies that display the largest differences in protein expression or phosphorylation. In this example, the Perkin-Elmer Array Scan Express Scanner is used to demonstrate how to scan the antibody microarray slide. Most scanners that are compatible with a 75 by 25 millimeter or 3 by 1 inch microscope slide can be used to scan the antibody microarray. Please check the specifications of your scanner and consult the manufacturer if you have any questions about your scanner's capabilities. Launch the Array Scan Express software. Turn on the microarray scanner and warm up the 540 nanometer laser. Load the microarray into the scanner through the loading slot with the antibody side facing upwards. Define the scanning area on the array. Scan it at the resolution of 10 micron and adjust the detection sensitivity setting or PMT according to the overall signal intensity. After the scanning is finished, save the scanned image in both TIFF and JPEG formats under specific file names. In this section, we demonstrate how we quantify the acquired images using Imaging 8 from BioDiscovery. There is alternative software that can be used instead of imaging, including GenePix Pro 7 or GeneSpring from Agilent. A GAL file, which is necessary for analysis with this software, has been included in the DVD which comes with each kit. The GAL file contains information about the location and identity of each antibody on the CAM antibody microarray. Open the TIFF scanned image in Adobe Photoshop. Crop the image so that the images from the bottom and top fields are saved separately. No adjustment on the appearance of the image is allowed at this stage. Load both images in Imaging and make sure the one from the bottom field is loaded first. Align the images before loading the corresponding grid file and protein ID file. In this version of Imaging, a grid file and a protein ID file are used together in place of the GAL file. Perform spot intensity quantification and analysis. Save data output files under specified names. 